But you're probably wondering, what is this in this little gold package? So I've been searching literally all over the world for this flipping shirt. So he's got five grand, he wants some outfits, work your magic. If I get this shot in, we'll give away 200 pound off the website. Good morning, people. Monday morning, we're back on the grind. Again, make sure if you're not subscribed already, click the little red button and the notifications, leave a like, leave a comment get involved so to start there was this outfit that a good client of ours wanted and we could find everything we could get everything in the outfit but this one particular shirt it's like an oversized izzy miyaki shirt i'll throw it up on the screen now super clean the only issue is, is that it's an older season piece and with izzy miyaki once they're sold they're gone no they won't get restocked it won't go into any other retailers so then it's just on the secondary market, which usually is our speciality. But when it comes to designer items, if it's not a super popular item that everyone's buying, it's kind of hard to find. So I've been searching literally all over the world for this flipping shirt. Anyway, he managed to get in contact with an employee from Izumiyaki who actually had one himself, uh, which he hasn't worn, which was custom made. Turns out he's the exact same size as our client. Um, so I'm tr currently trying to negotiate with him to actually sell the item to me because he really wants to keep it. So yeah, that is this morning's challenge. It's trying to buy this shirt. Where's the scissors? <sighs> Not again. Where the f*** are the scissors? Oh, we need a little, on the wall, just a little scissor holder and that. Oh, I found them. Here they are. Little, uh, just a mini unboxing as we are expecting some deliveries later on. For some reason, this shoe is a myth to find. Jordan 1 mid white shadow in a men's uk7 so i mean this was probably i'd say this was the second wave of mids that really took off the first wave of mids that took off was the pink quartz mids and the smoke gray mids and the chicago mids the black toe ones then the next sort of wave of mids was the white shadows which is these ones which was kind of like a follow-up from the smoke grays and then the white hill chicago toes white hill chicago mids as well and then of course they just started unloading a bunch of different colors from colors and it hasn't stopped since then people have been rocking with the mids personally i'm not a mids guy i like to wear highs and lows but a lot of people do like them because they are an affordable shoe not too expensive because some of the retro highs can get very expensive um so it's a, it's a good alternative and they sell very well for us this morning we spent a good 45 minutes to an hour now just going through every uh, item that we have on the website updating the prices to make sure that everything is up to date so that we aren't losing money or overcharging because the prices do fluctuate a lot even with particular sizes you might have for example a seven and a seven and a half might be one price and then an eight might just be crazy expensive just because it's a size that's popular and is sold out and not a lot of people are holding stock off so it's just a case of going through those sizes knowing what we can and can't get based on the market price what we've been buying over the last few months. So yeah, that's what we've been doing, been updating that. Luke's just come in now with a few parcels. If you want to over to him. We have a pair of bottoms which are going to be exchanged. I think he wants to go for the extra small, which we have in stock. So that is absolutely fine. I will make a note of that here. A pair of Balenciagas, neither size five. I won't bother getting them out, but they are the just Sort blend is all black. We've seen them a million times on here. What's up guys, first clip of the day. I wish it was morning time, but it's not. We've been busy this morning. Me and Baze have both been out and about, but we have some parcels to unbox and we have a special shout out to these. These have been in the office for the longest time and they are finally sold today or yesterday night so i'll miss them i was going to keep them but destiny didn't want us to be together but let's get started we have a assortment of different items here so it should be nice and interesting essentials hoodie oh i haven't seen this season yet i'm still waiting for mine to ship from five weeks ago so this is the new core collection which is nice and simple so this is my favorite. It's plain on the back and has the essentials. Very minimalistic in the top left corner. And I don't know if you're able to pick it up on camera, but it is uh, a little bit sort of like shiny slash reflective, similar to how the um, writing on the legs of the bottoms are. So this will match nicely. Where are them bloody scissors? We have a Pangea, Pangaea tracksuit. So these are also very popular. I won't unfold it. This is a black tracksuit we have in for a 
a very special client. As you can see, Pangea is all about being um, good for the environment. And as it says on the hoodie, it says this hoodie is made from a recycled and organic cotton mix. So yeah, these are really good for the environment. The whole set was actually purchased. I won't bother getting the bottoms out, but it just says the same things. And yeah, I really like the packaging and it is a nice tracksuit. Next up, I like these a lot. Stone Island cargo trousers. A lot of people like cargos. Some people like them baggy at the bottom. Some people like them tapered at the bottom. Stone Island do both styles. So these ones, you've got like an elastic uh, band at the bottom. So it's nice and tapered. We have the classic Stone Island logo in on the leg and it's like a black, a uh, very nice material pair of bottoms. We have the Drew mascot hoodie. So you've probably seen me and Bades, if you've watched the previous videos, you definitely would have seen me and Bades wearing similar style hoodies in a different color. I won't unfold this because it is nice and wrapped, but it is a navyish, dark blue, royal blue. We will see the Drew house brand and across the front. I believe this is a dark gray hoodie. So this is a SS21 dark oat hoodie. This is nice and plain, and I don't know if the camera will be able to pick it up, but you have the rubberized logo in on the back in a different shade of gray, which obviously says the essentials, fear of God. Let us know in the comments which style you prefer. Do you prefer it on the front or on the back or big like the one I'm wearing? Or do you not like it at all? As we know, we have the lovely live dog back in the office making sure everything is running as smooth as possible. She's better at wrapping than us. She's more organized than us. She's better at packaging than us. And she's uh, very helpful. So when your orders are looking nice and presentable, you have her to thank. You definitely don't have me or Baze to thank. <laughs> Eve just canceled my contract. Not canceled, it was just f Didn't take payment. I was driving home on the phone, trying to sort something out of the client. They just cut off my phone, literally. Just, I was like, what has gone on? Tried to ring them back. And when I rang, it said, I've not paid my bill. Check my account. They've not taken the money out and they've made me pay manually for that. You shut me down. But we're back and we're active and I've got a ring made. So let's wind this joker up. Let's do that as well. I can't lie, unless he's like a minute away, I have no clue where that guy is. So it's also a sad day for this shoe. These were a staple piece on the channel. This is what our first video included. And this is what we've come here for mainly. So the small sizes, we literally needed these because we was quite low on them. The Jordan 4 Oreo, this is actually our last pair that we acquired for £230 and just sold for 425 Sad to see them go. Happy to make the money. Shout out Liv Dog. She sorted the sale. She's also a sales consultant, a woman of many talents. So I just came back from Central had to pick up some Goyard bits for someone. I'm just gonna show you them now. There's some very nice pieces here. We spoke about Goyard before. It is something that we do source in. So if anyone out there is looking for any Goyard, make sure to drop us a DM or if you already have our number, drop us a message. First up, we have the duffel bag. This is the duffel bag without the straps. So these are the handles that go with it. Yeah, the quality on this is crazy, super clean. Got these nice little metal details and obviously the Goyard print, which is all hand painted across the whole bag. It's really big, so you can fit quite a lot in here. Very nice, good for traveling, weekend bag, maybe a little short stay. Then you've actually got the strap here, sort of to wear it across body like that. Uh, so this would then clip on the sides. Here we have a wash bag in a very nice deep sea blue. Wash bag, as it says, you could use this maybe on a night out if you want to put your wallet, keys, phone, or if you do want to use that as an actual wash bag. It's got a nice little main compartment there, then a side zip here where you can put a few small other bits there. So in here we have the matching card holder to go with it. Very nice, pairs well with that. So that will be going out today to them. While we was unboxing uh, that section, we had a few more parcels get delivered. We have the same Drew hoodie, same size, just in black. We won't bother getting that out for the moment because it's nicely packaged. They are curry dunks. These are for Danny, our good friend, who was in our first YouTube video. And these have gone up uh, ridiculously in price recently. You can see why the quality on these are unreal. Uh, yeah, so we're just gonna go upstairs now. I wanna grab a few pictures because I haven't got a picture of the dark blue hoodie. And yeah, just gonna put in these other hoodies because I don't actually think we've got a picture of this in our page either. So, gonna get a picture of these, picture of the bags, get some content for the gram. <laughs> Thank you.
Good morning, people. We're back. Me and Luke have been in a little bit early this morning, sorting out some finances situations, just doing a few calculations, forecasting. We tidied up the office last night as well, so we stayed a little bit later. Everything's up to date. We did a little stock take. So it's a bit tidier and cleaner in here. Josh has got a bit more space, so we can do a couple of fucking stretches. And we're gonna go out and do a little basketball challenge now. So a bit of fresh air. It's a nice sunny day for once. It's been pissing it down the last three days. So we've got a bit of sun. So making the most of it. Look at all the hounds. <laughs> oh my oh, god. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, that absolute scratch. <laughs> You Did bounced you the ball, I swear, you dickhead. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's it, right? Why'd you bounce the dog near a ball? <laughs> I didn't bounce the dog near no, a ball. I don't think you understand when I pull my trousers down what you're going to see. Wait. Is that bad, though? Do you reckon I can get infected? Yeah. <laughs> 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 oh, bro, he actually no. bit me. <laughs> yeah, you down. bounced the ball, you... Bro, I didn't bounce the oh. ball. I did bounce it. I didn't bounce it on purpose. It was wet on me, so I, just, <laughs> I dropped it. So I don't know if you just missed that, you'll probably hear the audio, but Luke made me get attacked by no, a dog. No, I didn't. We walked past these three dogs coming out of this, out of the cafe. They obviously walked through this park. Luke drops the ball right near the dogs, and one of them just goes for me, and has absolutely ripped through my trousers, through my boxes, and bit my ass, and my ass is now bleeding. <laughs> or it might be a scratch. I'm not going to show, we, can, we could blur it. No, I'm not going to blur it. But my ass is bleeding, I might have rabies. So we're back with another Luke versus Base challenge. We thought we needed some fresh air, so why not film some basketball? So we're gonna play a game which me and Bades call the basketball line game. So you start at the front line, if you get the shot in, you move back, then further back, and then when you get to one of the end lines, whoever gets the shot in from there first wins. Sweet, right, starting, yeah? <laughs> 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 Well Don't miss this one, big boy. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, I'm pretty rubbish at basketball anyway with these balls. If you put me on a real court, it's, it's a different story. <laughs> oh, ah. <laughs> Terrible. <laughs> what is that? Two hours later. Three hours later. If I get this shot in, we'll give away £200 off the website. <laughs> right, I'm bantering, I'm bantering. If I get this one in, we'll get away £50. £50 off the website if this goes in. Sorry. Oh, my ass is actually starting to tingle. Oi, I can't <laughs> concentrate. That's in. F off. Yes. Airball. Oh, f <laughs> yeah, pretty poor. Can't lie, we're actually shocking at this. Eventually. Do you know what it is? I think it's because we haven't done any dribbles yet. Oh, whoa, oh, 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 broke your ankles. Oh, wow. And that's good. what happens. A bit of dribbling, <laughs> bit of, mix it up a bit, and then it goes in. We're hitting with a oh, swish. Slag. Luke spent more time over the fence than he has throwing balls. I'm on the last line, Luke's on the second last line, so what I've got to do is get this in. And it's a dub for me, for once. Even though my ass is mauled by a dog. Curry's going to put it up, you know that. Oh. Yeah. Oh. 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 Oh, well done. Let's go. Now 3-1 to Luke. Finally managed to win a challenge somehow. Wednesday lunchtime. We've had some parcels go out. Some parcels arrived, sorry. We thought we would show you guys some of the items which we have received. First up, I won't get it out, but we have a Black Essentials hoodie to go with the Black Large Bottoms, which arrived yesterday. So that full set can get shipped out to the customer today. Sometimes you just get certain shoes in certain sizes, which are a complete myth to, to find. And this being one of them, it is the Jordan 4 Fire Red in a 11.5 UK 
and we just could not find this shoe anywhere so we had to get a pair sourced in from america from one of our connections out there so we have a drew t-shirt which i will get out of the packaging because we haven't actually seen this color on the channel and i'll get this on a hanger so we have this cream drew tee which i am a really big fan of i think because we're so used to have seen the cream for the essentials uh, this is like a different type and i think that's really nice do you agree base do you like this color He's on his phone busy. But yeah, we haven't seen this color. It's a medium Drew tee going out to a client uh, who's bought a few Drew bits recently. Drew is obviously oversized. It's a boxy fit. It's good material and it's comfortable. It's good to get all of your summer shopping done now because there's no demand for t-shirts at the moment. Prices can stay kind of low, whether it's Essentials, Drew House, all them types of brands. Here we have another a Jordan 4 box, which is a white Oreos in a UK 3.5. I think me and Baze did give some advice on these when we first spoke about them in the video. But um, basically, these were very cheap, easily accessible, under £200. And you'll see the retail on certain Jordan 4s from retailers can be over £170, including shipping. And I told a lot of people if they had these, just hold on to them. And then now they look like they've already gone up by £70 to £100, depending on size. Already, men's and adults certainly have. I think they are a very nice shoe. The materials are amazing on these. Only question is, the colour's quite hard to web if you are a reseller yourself you'll know pairs were probably going for late 200s early 300s whereas now you're not getting any cheaper than four to 450 close to 500 for certain sizes uh jordan fours just seem to go up over time new year and it's still continuing with the same hype so i'm going to tidy these boxes up i'm going to reply to some emails baden is working on doing some tiktoks and he's also going to pick up some shoes yo bro yo, yo you saying you're good yeah, not bad. If I come now, so like 15 minutes, I'll be with you. Is that cool? Literally going out in about 15 minutes. Uh, I can slap it in Sport Plus. Yeah, that, that should be calm. That should be calm. All right, that sweet. Be I'll leave now. So I'm going to go pick up some shoes. We've got the hoodie here. Casablanca hoodie's coming today, which means we can drop it to that client. So we've had a couple more parcels come in. Uh, obviously, you saw that we got the Cream Drew t shirt coming for a client. They also uh, bought the matching cream hoodie to go with it as you can see it's quite it's not even really like a proper cream cream it's kind of got like a pink slash peachy hue to it i like it a lot to be fair we have first some off-white out of offices this is the white and gray pair very nice we've seen these before for a designer shoe super affordable price so these is the standard black and white sock pair can't go wrong Super comfy. A friend of mine has these and he says it's probably the most comfy pair of shoes he has. Last but not least, we have Casablanca hoodie. So this is for a good client of ours that's been shopping with us for a little while now. He also bought these mids, I think for his girlfriend. So they're the Barely Rose mids. The Essentials hoodie, which we showed you yesterday. And then this Casablanca hoodie in white. They do fit a little bit small, so I would recommend to go up a size. He's usually a medium, so I recommend it to go for a large, and this should fit in perfect. So, first clip of the day, it's Friday, nice and sunny. No, it's, not. it's Thursday. It's Thursday. It's sunny, vibes are energy's high today. So we're just gonna unbox this real quick. But you're probably wondering, what is this in this little gold package? Basically, a client of ours bought a pair of off-white Air Maxes and in the process of moving house, somehow has managed to lose the laces and the zip tag. Still trying to find the zip tag for them because obviously it comes with the shoe. Not a lot of people are gonna sell just the zip tag. Like for example, I'm wearing these now, I'm not just gonna sell it because then I don't have it. And also if I wanted to sell it, then it devalues the, the price. So it's a bit of a challenge trying to find these two items. We However, can find the zip tie, it's just expensive. Yeah, exactly, I can get it, but it's just expensive for what some people are just trying to charge stupid money for it. However, I did manage to find the laces. So we've got one of the items, brand new pair of off-white white laces. 30 pound for these though, for some laces, but now they're not missing them. 
So as Bayes previously said, it is Thursday, not Friday. So Thursday is upload day, which means Thursdays tend to have a lot of uh, YouTube side tasks to do. So obviously Josh is very busy editing. So we got to do the title, the thumbnail, think about the description and stuff like that. So we're going to get that done. And if we pan over to Baden, Client slash friend of ours said he's got five grand. He wants some outfits. Three outfits. Work your magic. So we're just getting some of those built for him now to send over. He doesn't really like to dress out there different because usually this would be an opportunity for us to find some different stuff, maybe brands they're not aware of, but he quite likes his brands and he goes with what he knows. So we're going to just build some outfits based on the brands that he does like. So we'll come back to you in a bit and show you some of the outfits that we built for him. see outside it's dark now i'm in baden seat again me and Bayes went through some of the outfits which we mentioned earlier uh, i'd say they're about 80 percent done we sent a few over and he wants a few changes so we'll probably go through them get the thumbnail and that sorted and then that is the end of the filming week for us so realize we hadn't spoke about what we wore today so i'll just put up, give a little breakdown central's hoodie white tee khaki cargos so they're from this brand called destructive it's from la i've had them for a couple years so they look, actually look like rude ones i do have a pair of rude bottoms but these ones aren't off-white air force ones in black standard Shout out Mr. LM on the hoodie, all your dreams hoodie. Some light grey tracksuit bottoms and then the wave on the Yeezys. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, so we're struggling to do the thumbnail at the minute. He's going to blur it out so you don't know what shoe it is. Why am I holding an FB? Oh my FB. God, because it, it's the dunk. I could give you any dunk. I'm trying to choreograph Luke to take the fucking thumbnail. So tomorrow we are meant to be going to get that Izzy Miyake shirt slash jacket that we showed you earlier on in the week. So we'll show you that in next week's video. As I was just talking about that Izzy Miyake shirt, we have another part of the outfit just turn up now. So I'm going to show you a couple bits. We're not sure on exactly which one we're going to go for yet. We have this variation, which is in a darker sort of tan camel, I think is the official color. It's a roll neck fleece jumper, simple basic. It's not always about designer sometimes, you know, it's more about the style and the fit, which is what this outfit's about. We have this variation here. As I said, we're not sure which one we're gonna go with yet. And this is more of an oatmeal color, uh, which is a little bit lighter than that. So thank you guys. That is the end of the filming week. If you have enjoyed this episode, make sure to subscribe, like, comment, all of that. Put the channel notifications on and we will see you next week.